Camilla a screen on Green again the switch and West has got the defensive assignment. Paul with the bounce. West so with a superior tibiofibular joint sprain, uh, it's a very rare injury. It doesn't occur often. Um, the most common mechanism of injury though is when I'm just gonna use your foot, is when your foot is dorsiflexed, right? So lean forward, right? And then your knee externally rotates. So it puts torque at the ankle and then twists or uh, translocates the head of the fibula and causes a sprain at the ligaments. So, go back. So the ligaments at the head of the fibula go posterior to the tibia, anterior to the tibia, and has some uh, superior fibers as well. So with a support tape job, basically you want to put compression back into the tibia. So for this, you'll need Hypofix, Leuco tape, and ultralight. So first you're going to measure out your Hypofix. Try to avoid uh, too much in the back of the knee. Okay, you're just going to go past midline at the front. Okay. So there, measure it out, and you'll cut a strip. With the hypofix, you don't have to put any sort of compression or tension. Just again, watch out for too much of the back of the knee. Okay, so to make it easier for you, you can mark the head of the fibula. And then you're going to start with your compression strips with your Lugo tape. So first, measure them out. There. And then it's equal pressure on both sides. The first one is a horizontal strip. The athlete is going to push into my hands. Okay. There we go, good. The second strip is gonna be slightly diagonal, but again, crossing at that mid point. Again. Slight diagonal. time. Good. So obviously we can't leave it like this, which is why we're going to cover it with the ultralight. Because you can already see some of the corners start coming off. No tension into the ultralight, especially around the back of the, uh, the, back of the leg where the gas box is. Okay, and so it's nice and covered up. It's not restricting the calf muscles going around. How does that feel? Good. Good? Feel a little bit of compression that way? Yeah, I can feel it right here. Good, okay, so now this is the part where we get them to do some uh, sports specific functional testing. Testing, what we're just gonna do, get him to get his shoes on, okay? And then jump in the spot. Yeah. How does that feel? Good. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do some bounding. So it's just one leg, load, other leg. Okay. And then back. Good. How's that feeling? Good, yeah. Yeah? Okay, so now we're gonna do some just uh, side shuffling. Cut, come back. Okay. How's that feel? Good, yeah. All right. So something to avoid with the 
tape job is to compress the peroneal nerve, which will send signals down the side of the leg. So um, if it's too tight or if I miss the head of the fibula, my compression strips will compress that nerve. Do you feel any tingliness, any weakness down the side of the leg? No. No? Okay. Um, awesome. So basically that peroneal nerve, right, because if I were to miss the head of the fibula, that peroneal nerve runs from the posterior side, inferior and lateral to the head of the fibula, right? So if head of the fibula is right there, if I started my compression strips there, more than likely he will start to feel uh, tingliness down the side of the leg. Thank you.